Hey everybody, it's Jay. I'm the owner of Ocean Views Real Estate and uh, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about Oak Island, the real estate market update for 2024, how we're finishing the year. And as uh, most of you know, I also work on all these beaches all the way down to Murals Inlet up to North Topsail Beach, etc. But for now, uh, here's what's going on with Oak Island. Uh, the Oak Island page, well at least one of them here at the website, um, is right here. That's the WilmingtonRealEstate.com. Last year we had, uh, in the in the last year, a 19% fewer sales. Okay, so last year we had 485 home sales, right here, and then the year before that was 596. So there's been a decrease in the number of home sales, and that's uh, borne out uh, perfectly in the a market action index. It finally hit a very low point right here of 28 back in September. And um, right now it's sitting at, let's see if I can get out the pin, right at 30. So it's a perfectly balanced buyer and seller market. It's a really comfortable market to, to work in because usually most homes are not under contract the first two weeks. And therefore there can be a lot more leeway um, for negotiating, etc., and I'll uh, go into that actually right now. Let's let's do that uh, with a home in Oak Island right now at the moment. When one lists, and I've got up uh, here 66 active listings. Generally, uh, as you can see, these are days on market. These homes are all pending right now. Uh, about a quarter of them are under contract in the first two weeks. And then another quarter of them are under contract in the first two months. And then the other half take two to, or three to six months to sell. So that's a good way of doing it, sort of a little shortcut. A quarter are, are under contract the first two weeks. Another quarter are under contract the first two months. And then the rest uh, are three to six months. So that's where we're at now. And as you can see from the inventory, let me clean up the screen. We right here are at uh, 12 months of inventory. And that's down from a year ago with just about uh, two months of inventory. And another uh, source shows the inventory this way. Let's see if I can get back to it. There we go. Uh, you can, you, but you can see the increase. So with lower demand, we have uh, longer days on market to sell the homes. Right now, it's at 110 days, 104 days, the average days on market. And if you look here, let's go back here to, let's say, October last year, it was at 59, and it went up to 107. So using that math, we're, we're here at like 110. I fully expect the days on market maybe to go up here to like uh, 130 later on. And in, the, and in the same cycle of real estate seasonally, this market action index right now, uh, it's low. It's at 30. Uh, we've seen it before, like around December, uh, hit a low point around 30 and then go up to 42. So I really think uh, right now we're at 30. I'm pretty sure by uh, the spring, we'll get back up to like 35 for the market action index. So that's uh, the gist of what's going on with Oak Island real estate. As far as the prices, what's gonna happen? Well, they've been so stable. Um, here, going back to December, uh, the average 748, the 90-day average, and now it's still at uh, 738. So it's holding very flat. And with interest rates coming down, people can afford more home. So I don't think the prices are going to come down. Uh, I do think the demand will go up a little bit more. And we're at the seasonal low. But by the spring, demand will go up. And the prices will stay steady with that uh, increased demand again. And this inventory, I'm going to call it extreme inventory. I believe it's going to work its way down a few months back to something more moderate, like eight months, for example, by next uh, by the by June, for example. So that's what's going on with Oak Island: fewer transactions, lower demand, 
but price is holding steady and now with lower interest rates prices will probably stay pretty flat something dramatic would be like a two percent decrease in prices for example i doubt anything more than that but probably it'll just stay totally flat and we're going to start chipping away at our inventory now and getting it to a more reasonable amount because 11 12 months that's pretty extreme in the big picture look here the last five years We've mostly been holding at a month and a half for several years, and then bam. So I think now we've plateaued and we're going to start going down with our inventory and prices will just sort of stay right there. We've sort of run out, I believe, of room for new construction. I'm going to do another post on new construction because for years we've had Mongo new construction sales in Oak Island, but we may have sort of largely in the big picture run out of new construction opportunities. Now it's just here and there, uh, renovations and building on some lots, but not nearly as much mass new construction as the previous years in Oak Island. Talk to you soon.